Imagine going from a small Somali village to the heart of America, only to return years later as a key player in a nation torn by war. This is the remarkable journey of Hussein Farah Haidid, a man whose life story unfolds like a captivating adventure. From a marine's uniform to the unexpected helm of his homeland's destiny, Hussein Farah Haidid, the son of a well-known Somali leader named Muhammad Farah Haidid, had a life that was very different from his father's. He was born in Somalia, but moved to the United States when he was young. Hussein joined the US Marines, and that led him to places like the Gulf War and Somalia, where there was a lot of fighting. Even though his father was a powerful leader in Somalia, Hussein chose a different path. He ended up in a leadership position himself, but he tried to make peace and didn't use violence like his father did. His journey is a unique story of change and peaceful politics. Hussein Farah Haidit was born in Somalia and experienced a childhood marked by turbulent political landscape of his homeland. However, when he was 17 years old in 1979, he made a life-altering decision to immigrate to the United States. This move would set the stage for a unique journey that would ultimately take him back to Somalia in a completely unexpected role. Military Service in the US Marine Corps After arriving in the United States, Hussein embarked on a journey that led him to join the US Marine Corps. This decision shaped his life significantly and introduced him to a world of military discipline and service. Hussein's dedication to his military career took him to the front lines of two significant conflicts, the Gulf War and the complex situation in Somalia. The Gulf War Experience Hussein Farah Haidin's military service brought him to the Gulf War, a conflict that unfolded in the early 1990s. He was part of the US Marine Corps during this period, where he gained invaluable experience and contributed to the international efforts aimed at resolving the crisis in the Middle East. UN Intervention in Somalia As Somalia faced widespread famine and chaos due to the breakdown of the central government, the United Nations sought to intervene. The primary objective was to provide humanitarian aid and stabilize the situation. However, rival factions, including Muhammad Farah Ibid's USC, obstructed the UN's efforts by intercepting food shipments and engaging in hostilities. Hussein Farah Ibid played a unique dual role during this time. He was both a Marine and an interpreter, tasked with bridging the language and cultural gap between the international peacekeepers and the Somali people. Operation Restore Hope a new mission. The situation in Somalia escalated after Ibit's fighters ambushed a group of UN peacekeepers, prompting a shift in the mission's focus. Operation Restore Hope, led by the United States, aimed to restore order, bring the militias under control, and ensure the proper distribution of food aid to the Somali population. Hussein was on the ground as part of the Marine Expeditionary Force. The Battle of Mogadishu and Black Hawk Down one of the most infamous incidents during the UN intervention in Somalia was the Battle of Mogadishu, vividly depicted in journalist Mark Bowden's book Black Hawk Down. Although Hussein's father, Muhammad Farah Haibid, was a central figure in the conflict, Hussein had already returned to the United States by the time Task Force Ranger targeted his father's faction in 1933. After his military service concluded in 1995, Hussein Farah Haibid became a naturalized US citizen. Unexpected Leadership in Somalia In Somalia, the power struggle between rival factions continued. Mohamed Farah Haibit declared himself the country's president, a move not recognized by foreign nations. Hussein, now back in the United States, received an unexpected call to return to Somalia. Hussein's Return and Leadership Despite his youth and inexperience, Hussein Farah Haibit heeded the call to leadership in Somalia. He took on the role of leading his father's faction the Somali National Alliance, and became the interim president of Somalia. This marked a remarkable turn of events, as Hussein transitioned from a civilian life in the United States to a leadership position in a country torn by strife. Hussein Farah Haibit's life journey is a tale of transformation and resilience. From his immigrant beginnings to a role in the US Marine Corps and his unexpected leadership in Somalia, his story reflects the complexities of navigating a life shaped by both personal choice and the tumultuous events of the homeland in crisis. Ultimately, Hussein's commitment to peaceful politics stands as a unique chapter in the Ibid family's history, offering hope for a more stable future in Somalia.